Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. In this video, five coins that I believe are super undervalued right now that we can potentially buy and see some nice gains going forward. If this sounds interesting to you, please drop that like, give me a subscribe if you're watching. Look, I'm gonna, it's, the thing is, <laughs> I keep showing you some coins that you've probably seen before, but they really are super undervalued, okay? Before I dive into this, I need to let you know I'm not a financial advisor. These are just my own personal opinions on the market. So please do your further research before you invest your money. That being said, coin number one, I'm gonna lose my breath! <laughs> Happy! Listen, it is super undervalued right now. I don't know if there's many people paying attention, but I'm paying attention and I've been accumulating this. And if you was a patron of mine, you knew when I was accumulating because I let you know the alerts and blah, blah, blah. I think it's good to be stocking up on this because I think there's only a matter of time until Happy, you know, decides to rise in price. And when it does, it's going to be hard to get hold of one coin. Look, you've got to look at the market cap when it comes to these things. And right now, this market cap is sitting on roughly 10 million. And just to show you here, I'll like, break it down again, 10 million. And should this coin look as simple as it is, do a 10x, 10 times the value of now, it will turn into a, times it by 10, hold on. Getting there, hold on. 107 million market cap, right? And that's still tiny though. That's class as a mid sized cap, 107 million. That will put the price of one happy token at 324 pounds, because you shimmy a decimal forward, 324 pounds. And that's not going to be easy for an, <coughs> an average person to buy, because, well, you could buy them. You probably get three of them if you're lucky, but right now you can get, what, 10 of them? I don't know. 100 pounds will give you three of them. Right now, just under, just over, over three, three point something, a hundred pounds. Let me just check it as I'm just I'm trying to mess about. Uh, oh, let me get my calculator on. They, nope, that's 7,100. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to get there. So a hundred pounds right now give you three of them. If you had a thousand pounds, it'd give you 30 of them. I usually say the average person can afford a thousand pounds. You know, if you're not buying all the chicken takeouts and the, because I like my chicken and my, <laughs> I can't think of anything else. Just, you know, just save your money, invest it into crypto. <laughs> I don't know why I just think of chicken all the time. Uh, you'd get 30 of them. Something in my throat. And it's not going to be easy to get 30 of them when they're sitting at £325 a piece. Because you'd be looking to spend like, what, 30? No, it can't be. How much would it cost to get... I just need to do my calculator. It's going to cost you... It'll just basically cost you 10x. 10 grand. Which put as, add a zero. Why not? It's going to cost you 10 grand to get 30 of them. When it, goes, when it does a 10x from now, okay? So I think this is super undervalued and I don't think you guys should underestimate it. One million in supply. You know, when I look at this, I have to compare it against coins like Bitcoin only in relation to supply because Bitcoin has 21 million and we all hear it. We hear all these people. Yeah, well, you know, it's limited in supply. <laughs> it's, it's low in supply and I just want to be able to have some because, because the stock is running out. 21 million and the world about the stock running out. This has got one million. <laughs> and I've been told that it's going to drop a, a, a token burn or something or something's going to happen. It's going to decrease the supply. So, yeah, it just makes you wonder what's going to happen when it does. So keep your eye on it. I think this is really undervalued right now. £32 a piece, you must believe. And, yeah, <laughs> shall we move on? Hold on, what's this? I've got a medium gun up in here. Hold on, before I move on. Uh, this There was a recent hack, right, on the Poly Network. Is that Polygon Network? I think it is. I don't know. Drop comments if it is. But I remember reading that up on it and stuff. And this guy hacked the network. And he took hundreds of millions. I think he took a certain amount in ETH, certain amount in Polygon. And if they just had happy. <laughs> because I'm happy, love. If you feel that. Okay. If they just had happy's infrastructure incorporated inside it maybe it wouldn't have happened and they speak of it here i'm not going to dive deep into what they say and stuff but it is just interesting that the poly network you know it is a big hack because hundreds of millions i'm sure uh let me just close this that bloody thing popping up and yeah i just think that this could be a good opportunity for companies to look at what happy's doing because look you know create it to prevent that's what happy's vision is right so <laughs> And this is they talk about their vision on what happened, and you know you can roll, scroll through it and have a look in your own time. It's just their medium page, so yeah, I find it interesting. Let's go to coin number two. The most coins that I believe are undervalued right now is 
Harmony. You best believe. Because I've been buying Harmony for the longest time. Well, I said longest time. We bought it already. I can't remember the last time I bought it, to be fair. But I've been buying it right back from, you know, right way before I even had a bloody patron. That's what I'm trying to get at. Right back here somewhere. And it had this rise up in price, came down. And now it looks like it's slowly starting to go back up. I've believed for the longest time that Harmony will hit one pound price. It might go higher. It might go two to three pounds. If it does that, there's going to be some serious, filthy rich, filthy rich people that are watching my channel. Because I've been telling you about this since two pence. And yeah, <laughs> so, you know, it's still undervalued. Seven pence. Because, you know, if you can afford a thousand pounds, I don't know, I'm just saying, put it out there. You get 14,319 coins. Should that hit a pound, that's 14 grand. Fourteen thousand three hundred pounds. Should it hit two pounds? You know, twenty eight thousand pounds. I'm just saying. You know, put it out there. But you got to remember, you can stake this. And right now, I think the stakes come down a little bit. You can get nine point eight one percent interest if you stake your harmony. Uh, let's just go over here. And as an example, I don't know why that's there. <laughs> I didn't put that there. But even still, let's just say if you did have fourteen thousand three hundred and whatever, whatnot. I can't remember what it said. It said fourteen thousand something. One four three one three what three one two one something like that. If you had that. Just as an example, you'd make yourself every month eleven pounds on interest for free chilling doing nothing over the year, hundred and thirty five pounds, sorry, dollars. And if it was to hit the one pound mark, you gotta look just underneath. Under here it says you're getting hundred and fifteen tokens a month. Under here under the year you're getting one thousand four hundred tokens a month. So if it hits a dollar, well a pound is a bit more than a dollar because that's one dollar thirty seven. If let's just say dollar, if it hits a dollar, you're, you're making one thousand four hundred dollars a month. If it hits two, you're getting two thousand eight hundred dollars a month. Do you see where I'm going with this now? And this is why it's good to have some harmony to stake it. And if you guys haven't already done so, is it called harmony staking? Uh, this one here that you should go on the stakingharmony.com. I know they, they've got another app as well, but I would go here and stake your harmony. Stakingharmony one. Come over here and stake. Loads of little validators and stuff. Check for them in your own time. I usually just click on stake twice. I click it once. I click it twice because it shows the top people or the top node uh, validators that are, you know, that most people are staking in. And then you can stake in one of these. Look for the one that has low, uh, high uptime. That means that means their computers aren't turning off and they're constantly active, giving you them uh, good incomes, right? So Harmony is definitely one to keep watching because I think it's ve uh, very undervalued right now. And it wouldn't surprise me if Harmony shoots up to a pound soon. <laughs> In this entire, because uh, look, providing that the, the bull cycle continues, because we're back in a bull trend now, if it continues, it wouldn't surprise me if Harmony goes back to its highs and then surpasses it and hit reaches like towards the 50 pence and then the 70 pence and then the one pound. We'll see what happens. I think it's undervalued. So that was that. Coin, oh, before I go, and here's my proof that I think it's undervalued. If you look at the supply, because I remember now, I remember I was going to show you before. It doesn't even show total supply anymore. Don't know what's going on with it. They're trying to update it. But here it says 10 billion circulating, 10.4 billion. I think the max supply is like 13 billion, something like that. But I found a coin similar to it, Alien Worlds, 10 billion in supply. I said 13 billion, but Alien Worlds went as high as uh, five pounds and uh, 4.94, five pounds, I don't know, five pounds, six pence. And just in dollars to show you what five pounds, six pence looks like, right? Let me just delete all this. Five pounds and six pence is roughly seven dollars, exactly. This gives me an insight as to how high a coin with roughly 10 billion, roughly ish, 10 billion in supply can go. So, you know, if Harmony's sitting on uh, sort of circulating supply is just over 10 billion, and I think the max is 13 billion. We could see these highs, guys. And that's why I'm keeping my eye on it. And I think it really is undervalued right now. So, yeah. Coin number two. Following this, if we're going to talk about Harmony, we've got to talk about Zilliqa. You best believe. Mummy, <laughs> what is it? I, I really like Zilliqa. Who is Zilliqa? You talk about the Zilliqa. What, tri what tribe does she come from? <laughs> and what church does her mother go to? <laughs> no, mummy. <laughs> it's not a she, mummy. It's just a coin. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, I've got to stop. Zilliqa. Because <laughs> it sounds like a woman. Eh? Hey, Zilliqa. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can we get some food today? <laughs> I'm always talking about food. I've got to stop. Zilliqa is <laughs> undervalued in my eyes. I don't know why I put 175 there. Uh, maybe I was just trying to figure out how much you get for 100 quid. Because, uh, you know, I try to think about average people and then the people that just... just not. Look, I, I, am, <sighs> I class myself as average because... 
you know, okay, the crypto space has been good to me, but I'm still seeing myself as an average person, you know. I still walk down the street in cheap clothes with my Primark top and all sorts. I don't care. <laughs> I don't mean to shout you, because why change your life? Like, I know you got, you might have a bit more money because you're, you're doing well in the crypto or whatever, but I can still walk around in my four-pan socks <laughs> and my six-pan T-shirt. I'm happy with that. Zillica is... By far, in my eyes, definitely undervalued, just like Harmony. And these are both powerful coins when it comes to staking. I should have grabbed it up because uh, let me see if I can grab it up here. Just search it. How do we search it on here? Because this is Zilliqa. So, no, Harmony. Zilliqa. Z I L. They both are great. And I think that if you can grab as much as you can in Harmony and Zilliqa, it'd be great. Purely for the fact that Zilliqa right now is still giving you GZIL. And GZIL is the important part, and I'll come to that in a second. Because you're earning double whatever you do, right? So, for example, well, I say double. Right now, uh, how much does it cost to get, a th uh, what a thousand pounds give you, roughly? A thousand pounds in ZIL, you'll get 12,873, right? And just to show you this, if you were to stake it, I've got to talk about staking with these coins. I'm telling you, they're undervalued right now. 12,873. Oh, why don't you put it in? 12,873. You would get roughly oh, 13.87 interest, okay, over the year. $15 a month, which ain't too bad, you know. It's not bad. Uh, $193 over the year. But that's based on the price we see today, which Zillica is sitting on. What is Zillica sitting on? Zillica is sitting on 7 pence. This can also go to 1 to 2, two pounds, maybe more. Remember, XRP, and I'm just using this as an example, the supply. You know, like that tender-looking, juicy finger-licking barbecue piece of chicken right here. You best believe. And I'm still standing at the front of the line of my Zillica. I got my knife and fork and my Jamaica jerk curry goat sauce. And I'm still pouring it all over Zillica. It's got almost five times less the supply of XRP. XRP went to 2.5, no, £2.70. So you times £2.70 by five. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> well, 27 is 10. Half of 20 is 10. 7 is 13 point five. Something like that. £13.50 is what it can go to. <laughs> I just tried to do the math in my head. I don't even know if it's right. What I'm saying is, it's undervalued and it can hit good highs. I think Zilla could hit one to two pounds. Should it hit two quid, you know, just here alone, your thousand pounds, you're turning into 24, 25 ish, 25,200 and something pounds because you've got double it, right? And, you know, you're staking it. So you're getting your passive income here. Not to mention that if it is two pound or one pound, or well, let's call it a dollar, okay? Because one dollar would give you one thousand seven hundred eighty-five a year. So two dollars would double that, you know, for almost three thousand dollars. And pe listen, people work full time for these kind of things. Look, if a, if fifteen pounds is now times it, take it at a pound, look or a dollar. I'm, I'm trying to get mixed, confused, get confused. One dollar give you a hundred. When it hits a dollar, <laughs> you'll get one hundred forty-six dollars. <laughs> which is 70 pence by the way if it hits two dollars you're getting 300 dollars just oh, under 300 dollars a month okay i'm getting there but two pounds in dollars is more so you'll probably be getting about 300 quid a month on that investment on top of your price your your investment now being worth 24 grand because it hit two pound you know you've got to think like that you've got to think into the future otherwise why are you investing these coins i invest because i think about the future i think about what's coming in the future and yeah, and on top of that, guys, you're getting GZIL. Now, let me show you how GZIL works. For every 1,000 uh, Zillica you stake, you receive, I think this is right, for every 1,000 you've received in rewards, you get one GZIL, okay? So, if you received 0 0.1 in Zillica, you'd get 0 0.1 GZIL, right? Something like that. And... You know, it's it's not it's not gonna last long, guys. I think what October is when they stop all the staking. Octo or for for G Zill, you'll stop receiving G Zill in October. That's why it could be good now. Let me close it anyways. That's why it could be good now to grab as much Zillica as you can and stake it because you can earn that G Zill. And G Zill right now is sitting large again. Let's grab it up. G Zill. I will show you the G Zill. Where is Jizu? <laughs> hey, Jizu. Okay, I've got to stop. Sounds like I'm saying Jizu, isn't it? Uh, £114 for one coin. So if over the month you manage to get one of them, that's £114. If another month you get another one, another one of them, that's another £114. And you should be stocking up on these, holding on to them, because you just don't know what's going to happen in the future. Look at the supply. 722000 max. I'm pretty sure this is max. Drop your comments if it's true. I think it is max. You're never going to get more than this amount here. At least that's what I believe, right? So, yeah, that, that makes me wonder how much it's going to be worth in the future because it's scarce. More scarce than 
uh, happy at the minute because you know happy is a million it's more scarce than that so yeah it's interesting to see this is how i know happy is undervalued because <laughs> it's sitting on 30 quid most coins with like a million are sitting a bit higher than that <sighs> got sank in my throat again but yeah that was my my next coin uh which coin am i on now how, how do i what have i done i've done happy i've done harmony i've done zilliqa my next coin that i think is undervalued is bit of silence there reef reef finance i've been talking about this for a while i'm waiting for them to drop this like stake inside of things because i know there's gonna be some staking that we can do you know right through their website at least i believe i think reef is a good hold and they're trying to make DeFi easy at least as far as i'm aware that's what they're trying to do i have to check on their their uh you know the mediums and all that stuff to see what they've been doing over the last few weeks and stuff because i haven't been checking it there's so many bloody projects you know what it's like but I believe they're sticking to their roadmap. Reef for me is undervalued. And I'm going to explain why in a second. Let me just show you what they're doing with their, their stuff. Because they've been on point. Keeping up and track on what they're doing and stuff. With their roadmap. A lot green now. Reef is sitting on a penny and a half. A penny and a half. And you know I look at it. Again similar to the Zillicas. 20 million in. Sorry 20 billion. But if I ever said million on the other ones. I mean billion. 20 billion in supply. Okay. Max supply. Like I said. Five times less of what XRP is. Uh, a supply was and if xrp in my eyes can hit two pounds 70 whatever whatnot then this should be able to reach five times the amount of price but i'm happy to call like 50p a pound i think this will do a 50x soon look at the market cap you know 194 million not billion let's take this and time do oh that's the wrong thing <laughs> let's take this i'm not even cutting even just keeping it in raw fashion like tesco's times it by 10 when you know when you see reef do a 10x It'd be a 1.9 billion market cap. It's tiny. Uh, and when I say tiny, I mean in respects to these other coins that, you know, traditional coins that are doing good in, in the space. You know, I see Reef like with them traditional type of coins. It's not saying it's just going to disappear overnight. I think that this, you know, this gives, there's still more room for this to grow is what I'm saying. More money, more money can be pushed into this for you to do X amount gains without having to, you know, without so much money having to come in. I explained in one of my other videos, like, you know, Ethereum needs to do like 200 billion just to double your money. See what I'm saying? If you threw 200 billion into this, <laughs> you'd be making 100x gain or something like that. <clears throat> or more. Something, maybe a 1,000x. Because if this is a 10x, 100x will pull it at 19 billion. So a 1,000x will pull it at 190 billion. Yeah, you're looking at a 1,000x gain if it did that. My God, that would just change people's lives completely. I think it's undervalued. And right now, for a £1,000, if you could afford that, you would get 63,751 coins. If it did a 10x, again, you can take this price here, she made a decimal forward times 10, 15 pence. Uh, if it did a 100x, keeping it super real with you guys, you know, I showed you already, 100x is times it by 100, because it might do this in the future. It might not be right now this second. Who knows? Coming forward, it might do it. Pull it at 19 billion market cap. That could be doable. When I'm not asking for hundreds of billions. I'm saying 19 billion, you know. It's carrying on doing what it's doing with its project. It's continu continuously developing. People are paying more attention to refinance. And yeah, 19 billion just appears times 100, okay? So look, you'll be looking at, uh, let me just grab this here. So again, times 10, uh, 15 pence times 100, £1.58 pence price. £1.58 price for uh, Reef. Let me just show you that in dollars. A £1.58 price is $2.18. If we see that, and you've held on to your 63,000, you know, coins that you invested in, which was originally £100. You could turn that, times it by uh, £1.58, because I'm doing it in British pounds, right? Oh, sorry, it's gone, it's gone down a bit. I put £1.56, looking at the six there. You turn your £1,000 investment into £99,451. For me, it's super undervalued. That's why I'm putting it to you. Again, not investment advice. Entirely up to you what you want to do let's move on that was my fourth coin guys so my last coin my fifth and final coin that i think is undervalued is this meme meme coin i'm just going to show you what it looks like here meme look at this they only have twenty-eight thousand coins in total you're never gonna get any more than twenty-eight thousand coins just owning one of these could make you super wealthy in the future and just to show you what kind of prices i've seen coins with similar supply hit now I'm gonna show you yearn. <coughs> Sorry, show you yearn. Let me close this. Uh, I was trying to search it. 
the earned finance sitting on £27,576 for one coin. Look at the supply, 36000 They're both tiny in supply. Matter of fact, meme is tinier than yearn because this is 28000 And this is going up, look. And, you know, if you was a patron of mine, you saw the buyer ages ago. We bought this. We dollar cost average into this. You best believe. I don't mean to shout you, but I'm just trying to show you similarities, right? 36,000. Meme, 28,000. You know, just owning one could change your life. And right now, it's a 400 pound investment. If you could afford a thousand pounds, you'd get yourself 2.4 of them. Now, I believe that we will see one day, you know, meme hit similar prices to what you and finance is sitting on. And it's hard to see right now, but I'm telling you, please do not underestimate it. Because of the uh, the scarcity of the supply, it will go up there. And let's look at uh, look at how high uh, yearn has gone. Yearn went as high as fifty eight thousand pounds for one coin. Like I just said, meme has less in supply. If meme goes to fifty eight thousand pounds for one coin, and you've got two of them, you turn your one thousand pounds investment into a hundred thousand pounds. That is mad, crazy, ludicrous. Bum, I'm spitting all over my mic. I can see. Just to wipe that with tissue. <laughs> because it makes me spit all over my mic. <sighs> and breathe. <laughs> it's got a 10 million market cap. It's mega tiny, guys. Million. 10 million. Not b. Or is that 10,000? No, 10 million. It's got a 10 million market cap. Look at this. When it does 100x. It doesn't have to have a lot of buy power. It'll put it at a billion dollar market cap. And 100x, just to show you what the price would be, times 10, 4,000 pounds, times 100, 40,000 pounds for one coin. 40 grand. 40 grand! Let that sink in. 40 grand for one coin. I think that meme's going to be around for a long time because they're really doing what, uh, what focusing on NFTs here and they're doing a great job at it. I like all these live events here. We can grab, you know, you can auction, uh, you can bid on some meme coins. This one looks sick. The auction ends soon. Let me just show you what that looks like. It looks kind of good, a bit too good as well. That's an NFT. I like that. So I'm keeping my eye on this. I'm keeping my eye on the project. They've got some great NFTs here, you know, really unique ones. I like the gaming one. I think we shouldn't underestimate it. Look at that. That's cool. I like that. So, you know, <laughs> for me, super undervalued right now and you could get some good good gains should it perform well so that was my five coins <laughs> i'm gonna leave it here if this is helpful to you please drop that like give me a subscribe if you're new watching thank you for watching big up to you all shout out to my patrons if you want to become a patron again i got seven tiers take your pick i recommend my buy so steak alerts just click in my link in the description it says patreon become a patron and you can select which, uh, which tier you like look my words ain't coming out now and yeah we really are making some nice gains on things and i don't want you to miss out so be sure to check they're gonna know exactly when i'm taking profits you don't want to miss that because you know this hype cycle when it drops we are in a bear market <laughs> and if you don't know when to take profits you're done <laughs> that's all i can say so i'm gonna make them sure and alert and aware of it okay uh but yeah, thank you all for watching. Shout out to the patrons in these tiers and all my extra patrons. I'm going to do a shout out. Are you ready for this long last list? Shout out to Toy Notary. It's time eight. Actually, let me put my phone on silent, <laughs> on play mode, because if I don't, people are going to be calling me. But let me do that again. Shout out to Toy Notary. It's time for AJ, Thanks, C63, Clarence Dennison. Ugh, look, getting it wrong. <laughs> Clarence Denninson, Christopher Johnson, Jacob Adams, Mr. Anonymous, Stuart Chuckler, Cl Carlos Rocha, Damaro, Samu Stancox, Ra Rahul de God. Listen, I've got to do it quick because there's too many. Dante Kennedy, RG Bizzle, Max Wisem, Wisem? I think Wisem. W Manny Sanchez, Tyrone Samuel, Abiola, Rachel Mack, Pamela Williams, Stax on Racks, Rick, Joffrey Williamson, Omar Thomas, Cass Manel, Avan Davis, CCP269, Goodfields Nice, Dominique, Peter Stoddard, Eric Scoop King, Big Up, Semyon, Fatima Price, Shwanda Owens, Tanner McLaren, Josh Wills, Kevin Ward, Sassofi, Michael Keel, I think I said it right, Christopher Hoss, Chris Steed, Snowy, Andrea Harding, Kelvin, William Fox, Eschar, Claudette Hormiliosa, like when Guardian Levy Osa, <laughs> float you up in the air, you best believe, Shakir Hussein, Lamar Lee Seeley, Cody Harris, S, Daniel Hopkins, Cyril, Cyril, always get that one, you know what I mean, Alexander Forey, Gilbert Baggins, 
Eric Jackson, Paul Forrest, Power, Russell Cohan, Joseph Marcus, Crypto Mac, Crypto... Oh, give me the gains. <laughs> Listen, I'm mixing it up. Mixing it all up. Vilex, West A, M, Ali, Mo C, Fiat Justin, Mike V, J Fay, uh, Terry JC, Ollie, Orville, Broomfield, NASA, Ignacio. That's a sick spell. Listen, I keep seeing Harry Potter spells in your names. I can't help it. Uh, G Crypto 11 7, Chris Chico, NM That Man, Francis Loco, Zach Adam, Mansour, Jem de Jaguar, Marcus Gittery, Exelios. Flick that one at your hand, you best believe. <laughs> I can just ma imagine Harry Potter. Exactly. Up, mash up your head. Anyway. <laughs> Stony Mac. What am I laughing for? John Lowe. Ranjo Singh. Raffle Krupa. Aiden. Ejiki Okori. <laughs> just spin you up in the air, you know. Luke Ainsworth. <laughs> I can see it. Mr. Dura. Anthony Berry. TRG Investments. Ryan Williams. Tukin. Santino. Crazy Jam. Timothy J. Brusky. Rene. UKMC. No Name. Pablo, Lena111, I think that's right, Sunny V, Hanny Abu, Ricardo Vinegas, Shinadu, Oscar Vilgas, Crypto Moon, New to You, Jackson Tepper, look, bang my chest, Francis Hernandez, Akbar, Jermaine Allen, David Adediji, Chiquita, look, a lot of tongue twists, John Sandoval, Optimus Prune Page, Edgar Cortez, Ramil TV, Kirsten, hello, Mr. Drew, SNCCC, Marlene Daddy Albers, Joshua Asher, Black Ape, Bob Rust, spit on my whole mic, you best believe. <laughs> Losing my breath. Eli, Mikey, User X2019, Blackstar, Chillest Creations, Akis, Voldemus, mash up your ear. <laughs> uh, what am I laughing for? Abid Hussain, <laughs> Moses D. Lopez, Michael, <laughs> I can't help it. Joseph Samara, I'm going to get a headache after this. Joseph Samara, Neola London, Chris Tap Dances, I will tap dance with you, best believe. Uh, Iris, Montreal Ammon, J J Joey J, Raj T, Brian Reedy, uh, Terry, Cornell Goodman, Matthew Walker, Sarpain Singh, Dennis Boonman, Mark Peak, Elliot Chill, Royal ID, Hassan, Hassan P, Makuga. I think I said that right. Monica Matteo, Adam. Oh, I've got to start scrolling up again. Uh, where am I? Adam. Ugh. Monica Matteo, Adam Allen, Ralph Green, Marcus Dunbar, Johnny Matthews, Arted, Moises Gallery, Mrs. Carla V. What's going on? Rizwan. Akins, Ice Crap, get it out again. Ice Cat Trader, Connie Williamson Johnson, Anthony Donne, Carrick. You have never heard a list this long. Shouting out people's names, sitting here for like five ten minutes. Karen Danik, <laughs> I appreciate you though. It's just so long, isn't it? <laughs> Are you still here? Drop a like. Uh, Kimberly Gearman, all for one and one for all. Cylinder to Schumer, Stefan, PC World. Who used to watch that advert? I used to love that advert. Marky27, Dave, Chris Adlam, Crypto. Like, I gotta have fun with it. Crypto Newbie, Thomas Rodriguez, Golden Bags, Noel21, Jude Tam, Thierry, I think that's right. Joe Youssef, Araf Joy, Danny Rich, Elstein, Carnivore 444, Morgan Culver, Job, Kilpashkumar, Alex Spagan. I think I said that right. Siray, hold on. <laughs> Siray Fex. Kevin V, Crypto Hustle, big up. Nova, Mohammed Imran, Ankus Jane, Corey, Mario L, Vanessa Small, Elijah Aylandy, I think that's right. Moinu Hussain, Nate, Nadine Jordan, Eddie Laform, D Wheels, R Riyad Midikasu, Hashimatala, I keep thinking of Mid Mid Madagascar. Anyway, <laughs> Hashimatala, Suraj Rashid, Rashid, I'm getting there. Eamon D. Whaler, I'm halfway, I promise you. <laughs> Max Sixor, Max Sixor, Master J, Daniel Brown, Leon Plas, DG Crypto, I promise you, it's so long. Adam Isvan, Theodore Wheaton, LD Vincent Millet, Mauricio A Noop N, Eamon I don't Eamon Rizvi, Janetta, Legend Charles Knight, Asa Jones, Duns River, Carrie, Gilbo Blaggins, Jake Ross, Cro I don't Cookie Crumbs, Cookie. <laughs> I love it. Christian Lee, Philip Staffer, fund me now. I will sort you out. Don't worry. Crypt I don't Crypt Dive, Maha Ramadan. I think that's right. Uh, Ramadan, yeah. Uh, Fiaz ahead, Jim, Harsha, uh, Bent T, Bent, Bent Henson. I think that's right. Daniel Grigrio. Listen, if I get your names wrong, just let me know. Drop the comments. Uh, Idle Piper in the uh, uh, Patreon. Shark T, hold on. Sher I'm getting your name mixed up. Sherry T, so oh, no, Sherry T, Zostek. There you go. Uh, Deshanovation, Mustafa, Skylark. Hold tight, DJ Skylark. Come in the place of the DJ Skylark. I scroll up my screen with the DJ Skylark. You must believe. <laughs> I love it. Because she's a DJ, right? Liz Reed, the, the A-team, slash something else. Jacob Madaris, Dave Cafo, Richard Harmer, big up to you. Uh, Kyle, Dors oh, Kyle Dawson, JP Deline, I think Deline. Let me know. Joe Shawns, 
Joey Shawns, Akeem Banks, listen, there's so many. Michelle van den Acker, what's going on, my lovely? Rosemary Hansen, Justin Levin, Via Financial, or Via Financial, you could use the American Savior. Raycorn, Mr. Pauniti, Massey, hold on, Tonye Adekibi, I think I said that right. Seer Coins, Kasha Smith, Soul Seeker, I'm almost at the top of my screen again. Theodis, Paulo, Paulo, Paulo Baptista, Ren, hold on, Renton Bacco, in Inigo Zibieri, listen, I ain't done this in a while. Stephen Grunfield, I think that's right. RGC Visual, Lee Goodwin, Matthew Wan, Tristan Miles, John Hung, uh, Saifram Rama, May Revel, I think that's right. Laurie Litra, I'm getting there. Alicia Abigas, what's going on? Nima Wambagu, I think that's right. Des, David Lang, Saita, what's going on? Uh, Danny Rid on Ruddick. Kenny Broker, I think I'm getting there. Aaron Nguyen, Nick Smith. Ugh, there's so many. <laughs> Are you still here watching? I'm scrolling down again. Oh, where am I? Nazar, James Snowden. <laughs> That's like my mouth. P Pi. It's got two. It's got three eyes. Mr. Bonds, double star, double starred. Mustak Dean, Michael Knight, S. Terrell. Look, my eyes are watering now. Nate, Robert, John Carty, Josh Davis, Batch One, VJ Kuma. I, you, you promise you've never seen a name called the, uh, long, this long list. I can't even get it out. <laughs> Fuchs. Uh, I think that's right. Devastator X, big up to you. Francis B, Christopher Hamilton. You related to what's his face, Hamilton, the driver. Mr. Investor, uh, Arena Lorenzo. I think that's right. Mark Raffle Stepnikowski. Stepnikowski, yep. Jordan Rutty, uh, Gene Gerard. Uh, Gaspar Pestotnik. I think I'm Dr. Robotnik. I love it. Uh, <laughs> Randall Jarrows. I'm almost there. Saif. Uh, Matthew Kirk. Peter Butler. Saifi Muhith. I think that's right. Martin Wahenko. Big up to you, brother. Uh, I, I don't know. Is it Armin? Amin? I think it's... I want to say Armin. Let me know. Uh, Jack Attack. Mirajus Shepard. Jamar Richard... Richard Zoe. Richard So. Valentin. Work hard, play hard. Sean Angus. Mr. Crypto Noob. Theodos Jansen. Cosmo... Oh, hold on. Cosmic Momos. Block number 21. Adrian Kazoni. I think that's right. Ken Zepeda. Or Zepeda? Let me know. I think it's Zepeda. Aidan Matthew and Andrea Evans. Thank you so, so much. My God, this list is getting longer. Just trying to scroll up now. You know, let me get to the top. Thank you all for becoming a Patreon. Truly appreciate you all. Wow. And I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Cheers.